You got a swimming pool on the third floor. Open concept, really love the idea. Yo, yo, what's up? Very nice bathroom, like zero complaints. And you got a sliding door right here with a big mirror. And the big mirror is on both sides. There it goes. Voila. A lot of the stuff looks really good. Like, it. I feel like it's brand new or it's very well maintained. So for Crime Plaza, you have to come to level one. So one level down to when you get off the uh, SkyTrain um, to check in. Okay, so today we are at Crown Plaza at Singapore Chingi Airport. And I have to tell you, this is our first airport hotel and I'm in love with it. This hotel is amazing. I love it, the kids love it. You got a mall, airport, awesome hotel, everything in place, plus a badass swimming pool. So we're staying here for a couple days till we take off for Egypt. Uh, I was able to use my reward nights, which I pay 95 bucks per year for the credit card and I get one night for free. So we're staying here for two nights. The um, average night you cost is 250 US dollars here. So be able to get something for 95 bucks, it's amazing. So instead of 500 bucks, we literally spent 190. So you can't beat that. That's an amazing deal for Singapore, amazing. With that said, let me show you this awesome, badass hotel. And I know this is not Hilton, we're a Hilton family, but with Hyatt and ISG, once a year, twice a year, you know, take advantage of those uh, rewards. So first thing you see when you walk in, we're on the eighth floor. You got a swimming pool on the third floor. Open concept, really love the idea. And you got an awesome view of the uh, tower. And, and then as you walk in, my favorite view is coming up from outside. Here we go. Coming here at nighttime is freaking amazing. But check this out. You got one Singapore airplane. Another one just landed. You got Jetstar that's getting ready to take off. You got another one right there. And another one, you can see the tail. So you can literally see airplanes like from a very close distance. I feel like if I had a rock, I could throw at it and probably hit the plane. Like I'm not kidding you. That's how close that thing is. All right, let's continue. So we are in room 813. We were upgraded to a suite, which I'll talk about that here in a little bit. It was not easy, but they finally got it done. But let me show you the 813 room. And here is another view of the swimming pool right here. Once again, not many people there, just a few people, that's it. Uh, and they got the green built into the swimming pool, which I really like. You know, makes it look a lot, lot better. All right, let's go check out the room. All right, so before we get started, you know, we've been here for a couple days now, or a day, I guess, day, day and a half. When we got here, it was 2.30 in the morning. We were exhausted, long line at immigration. And uh, we're used to that, unfortunately, with Singapore. It just takes us a while to go through. So you're gonna see our crap all over the place. So I apologize, please excuse us for that. But with that said, let's show you the uh, room. So as you walk in, you have two huge storage areas right here. And these are large size storage. I mean, you can definitely fit. You know, in New York, somebody can sleep in that. I'm just kidding. And then when you walk in, you have a half a bath right here. So a half bath. Yo, yo, what's up? And then you have a nice big mirror right here. And this is the living room right here. And one of the things that I love about this view right here, you can literally be hanging out here, doing work, and watching the uh, runway, and then just planes coming in, planes taking off. That Jetstar is going up there to take off. You got Emirates right there. Uh, we saw Etihad earlier uh, that took off. But you literally see landing and taking off in the same um, same view, which is pretty pretty amazing. So it's gonna be a minute. So I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to this one. All right, the things I like about this room. This desk right here, this computer desk is freaking huge. Uh, you can see I literally have all my crap on it and you have an extension on the side. And this desk, like I, I love it so much that this is exactly what I'm gonna have when I get back. We ever move to a place that's permanent. So this desk right here is incredible. So I love this, I love this area. Chair is very comfortable. Storage right here. Once again, amazing view. Um, sofa seating area right here. You have seating area right here. And you have a bench that you can sit uh, and literally you just watch the um, view. And then you have a bed that we brought in for the kids. TV, 
sound bar. So a nice touch on the sound, sound bar, huge dining room. And as you move in here, you have more storage in the bottom, coffee and tea as usual, and tiny fridge. And this is once again, more storage. You have plenty of storage here. One thing that I would say if I had to give it a con, when the, um, in the mornings, there's no curtains, blinds, anything here. So morning time when the sun comes up, this does wake up the kids a bit earlier than usual. So that's probably the only thing that I would say is a con at this hotel. Here you go, master room. And you got a sliding door right here with a big mirror. And the big mirror is on both sides. So, and I say that because last night I was working late. I went to use a bathroom and I thought I saw somebody walk across the room, scared the heck out of me. But that was myself. So we have a baby crib for Cedo. We have a nice TV on the, on the wall. Huge king bed. I really, really like the, uh, this hotel. Like this is, look at this. This is leather piece right here. In most cases, it's all wood and it's banged up pretty bad. So you have a nice JBL clock with a built-in uh, Bluetooth speaker. The phone is fancy. It's got a keyboard you can send a text message to. It's just really, really nice hotel. Like we love this a lot. Walk-in closet, open concept closet, whatever you want to call it. Storage here, storage here, more storage for shoes in the bottom, another mirror and plenty storage. I'm telling you, this thing is full of storage. And then moving into uh, the bathroom, you have a tub right here. Now this is, you know, tinted windows, so you're not gonna be able to see the uh, runway. So it gives you a true privacy. And it does also have uh, uh, blinds you can bring down. Two sinks with a space in the middle for, uh, for you know, for somebody to put makeup on, get ready, whatever the case might be. Tile floors, huge, huge area. Bathroom, take care of your business. And then walk-in shower. The walk-in shower here is actually really good. I like it. Uh, the shampoos and stuff are actually very, very nice. They smell amazing. So a very nice bathroom, like zero complaints uh, regarding this uh, hotel. And of course, you slide this over, mirrors on both sides. Again, I like it. You got plenty mirrors here uh, in this room. Once again, you also have a view of the uh, tower from your room. And that right there is the jewel that you can walk to. Um, we're at Terminal 3, that's where we are. It's literally walking to the jewel. It's like a five, six minute walk. And while we wait for a takeoff or landing, this is the sky bridge, uh, T3 sky bridge that you take to get to jewel. So this is uh, um, how you get there. And I got the train that's going by. All right. Looks like we got a plane that's getting ready to take off. The front wheel should go up any minute now. There you go. Voila. There it goes. After this one, then you have a landing and then back to take off. We pretty much figured out the rotation by now. Then we've watched a couple of hundred. I see Turkish Airlines, just like just landed. I, I see the tail over there. Uh, let's see what airplane is gonna land. We've seen Vietnam, we've seen uh, Hawaiian Airlines, Turkish, Singapore, Emirates, Etihad, bunch of Chinese ones, and a uh, couple others I cannot think of right now, but we've seen a lot of airlines. Malaysia, of course, that uh, land and take off from here. All right, here we go. One coming in. Looks like it's Singapore. You see a little bit of smoke. There you go when it lands. Up Singapore. There you go. You saw it take off and landing, my friend. Crown Plaza, uh, Ching Airport, amazing hotel. And the price on the $250, $275, maybe even $300 bucks is not bad at all. If you were to stay at Conrad, you were to stay at Hilton, uh, you would pay equal or more for sure. Like I've seen those things go up to 400 bucks. So to get something for 250, 275, it's not bad at all. You have access to the mall. You don't need to get a cab, pay 50, 60 bucks there each way. So in my opinion, this is definitely a smart move. If you're gonna be here for just a couple days, it gives you access to everything. But let's see, let's go check out the swimming pool, the fitness area and some other stuff uh, in the hotel and show you those. Look at this. 
when it rains in Singapore, it rains and pours, man. I was gonna try to show this swimming pool today, but all things gonna work out. Today is our last day in Singapore. We have a flight that is going to, with Saudi Airlines, Saudi Airlines from here to Maldives. Now it's a technical stop in Maldives. I think they're changing staff. That's what, that's what uh, cause a lot of the staff are staying at the hotel. It's like six captains in like one plane. So I think they're dropping some people off. So they say it's a technical stop. So, and I don't think it's fuel. Uh, cause the plane can make the flight all we do, Riyadh. So from Maldives, then we go to Riyadh. Uh, we got like a five, six hour connection in Riyadh. And then from Riyadh, we go to Cairo with Saudi Airlines. So it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be like 20 hours maybe, give or take a little longer, maybe 25. So that's what it's gonna be. By far our biggest uh, flight journey with three kids. You know, three planes, you know, five, six hour connection. And so we'll see how they, uh, how they do. But the seats are very, this is like very, just recently renovated, so they look really nice. So we're excited to check them out. Uh, a lot of positive reviews on, uh, on the airline. All right, so we got the checkout time extended till 2 p.m. So we got two hours for free. 150 US dollars or Singapore dollars to extend it till six. They want to do that. So that, and they will also store our luggage free of charge downstairs till our flight. Because our flight's not till 8.30. So we got the jewel mall here so we can just walk around you know and kill time so no problem at all i wish i could have shown you a swimming pool when it was not raining i really like the swimming pool like it's open concept you got trees in the middle you got a little you know it's like you're in you're in moon or space seating over there it's just really cool i really really like it that's it let's go check out the gym and you know, i've always wanted to give ihg a chance but the credit card rewards and benefits that it comes with it just doesn't you know stack up to what you get at hilton with a spired card you know free breakfast priority pass at lounges at the airports look at this how cool is that they just didn't waste any space you know if they improve their credit card situation i'll be all over it oh, that's a lot. wow this is cool resistant band yoga straps yoga brick this is really fancy. So you're looking at the airport. I can see a couple tails, Singapore Airlines. The equipment's are actually in really good shape. It smells great. It smells amazing here. It smells really good here. You got a couple of treadmills. So a lot of the stuff looks really good. I, like it. I feel like it's brand new or it's very well maintained. We got a bathroom here, but really nice, nice gym, really cool. And the flooring, the flooring is like, a, it's not carpet, but it, it observes your sweat. Singaporean people, man, they take fitness to a whole different level. They don't play. I mean, they're in the sauna 24 seven, I feel like, and they work out. So they are in amazing shape. Like, I don't think I have seen a single overweight person here in Singapore. I am not kidding you. Not a single one. Look here. Bathrooms here. Oh, even the bathrooms have this. Like, look at this. I'm like, this is the only way to the bathroom. How cool is that? Very clean showers. This place smells amazing. Like, this is crazy. I really like these. This is amazing. Same thing here. Look at this. Imagine getting out of your room and this is what you see. And we're on third floor, so I'm glad that we got a high floor so we can see the airport. Because you don't see Jack here. So that's why I guess they put the stuff here to make you feel a little better. <laughs> This goes all the way around, all the way around. Really nice. Okay, just checked out of the room, getting ready to uh, 
for our flight, Gulf Air just landed. So you're starting to see a lot of the uh, international flights from Europe and Middle East arrive. I saw Emirates just a few minutes ago. So they're starting to arrive. A lot of these flights will take off in, in, in about between eight, uh, eight and uh, 11. So they'll be here getting them ready for a couple hours and then take off again back to home base. It stopped raining, so here's the swimming pool. Once again, my, one of my favorite swimming pools for sure. Yeah, you see a big plane over there. That's got four engines. I believe that's term yeah, that's terminal two. That's what that is. All right, so all checked out, nothing to pay. That's always an amazing experience. We end up staying here for three days total, all four reward nights for free. So can't beat that. I know I said two days in the earlier part of the video, but I clearly had my math backwards. Three nights, which should have been about 750, 800 US dollars. We end up staying here for 285. So less than 300 bucks. Uh, not bad at all. One thing that I do want to show you, this hotel is one of the approved hotels for COVID customers. So anybody that's test positive, when they land here, they, will, they are staying in this hotel. Now this is what they call the registered guest only. So try to do your best not to go in this hall or well, anyway in that direction because everybody in that side of the uh, hotel has COVID. So we are here. This is regular guest. This is COVID guest. And if you see anybody even, they're not supposed to even leave the room, you know, walk around and stuff. So, but you know how people are. So if they end up leaving and they have COVID, only COVID folks stay in that side of the hotel. Uh, this is the breakfast, lunch, dinner area. Uh, we, didn't, we did not get a chance to, uh, eat here but we ordered from room service which is the same exact menu really clean restaurant really good food no complaints at all uh, they definitely you know stand out uh, discount wise so if you're a, a hotel guest you get 15% off one five for dining in here room service is standard price so they are keeping our luggage till uh, six o'clock so you can keep your luggage here till six or seven whatever you need uh, like our gate opens up at five so overall pros and cons honestly a lot of pros clean hotel, great staff, great custom service. Initially, it was a bit of a speed bump because they were trying to charge me for rollover bed and they were trying to charge me for suite. They even tried to attempt, attempt to charge me for a crib. And uh, finally, you know, back and forth, I'm like, look, man, we've had a long flight. I have a, you know, uh, I'm a ISG member. It's a mid-tier member. Can you help me out? Uh, so he's like, okay, no problem. So I only asked once and he's like, okay, no problem. I help you out. So if they try to pull a fast one on you, just kindly ask, it goes a long way. We got upgraded to a suite, a really big suite, honestly. Um, so for mid-tier status, it's amazing. The only con, if I had to give it one, there is no bidet in the bathrooms, in the rooms. There are bidets in the public, like where the swimming pool is, where the uh, restaurant is, there, there's a bidet there, but not in the rooms. That's the only con that I can give them, honestly. Other than that, amazing hotel, I would definitely stay here. With that said, this is the end of this video, but don't worry, you got two more videos coming for you at the end of this screen. Please continue watching, and if you're not following us, please click that button and follow us. Thanks so much.